Close your eyes, watch your breath. Any thoughts that don't have anything to do with the breath, you can let them go. If you're going to think, think about the breath. What kind of breathing feels good, what ways you can adjust it. That kind of thinking is fine right now. You need a sense of time and place for your thinking. All too often we hear that meditation doesn't involve any thoughts at all, or thoughts are bad for you. And that's not the case. Some thoughts are very good and very useful. It's simply we need to learn how to choose our thoughts a little bit more wisely. All too often a thought comes into the mind and we just run with it, without looking at where it's going, how useful it'll be. We need a place where we can step back and look at the thoughts as a process. See where the process is coming from, what states in the mind are giving rise to the thoughts, and where the thoughts are going to go. Otherwise, you're like a person standing at a bus stop. It's hot, muggy, uncomfortable. And a bus comes up, and you don't check to see where the bus is going. You just jump on the bus. And who knows where the bus is going to take you. Some bus routes just take you around and around and around, then drop you off where you were. And others have got delinquents, they beat you up and they drop you by the side of the road someplace. There's very few bus routes that actually take you where you really want to go. So you have to be very careful to check what does the bus look like, does it look like it's trustworthy, does it, on the route that they put on the top, is the route number the real route number? You want to be in a position where you can check these things out before you get on. And it's the same thing with your thoughts. A thought comes into the mind. The mind is kind of like a random thought generator. It just churns up all kinds of stuff. And you want to be in a position to notice, okay, this kind of thought looks reliable, this one doesn't. And you can hang on to the reliable thoughts as long as they are reliable, and say no to the thoughts that are not. and make it stick. That requires that you have a good, comfortable place to stay in the present moment. Most people get very antsy in the present moment. They fidget around, they look for something to do. They can't just be with themselves right here, right now. And so one of the skills we develop in the meditation is learning how to be by yourself right here, right now, and to occupy yourself with something that's really good, getting to know your own mind, getting some control over your mind. That way you think the thoughts you want to think, and you don't have to think the thoughts you don't want to think. And you get more selective about what you would want to think. You start thinking about the long term. Where is this thought going to take you? And you're more likely to go in line with what you know will be a good destination. A large part of wisdom is learning how to say no to things that are attractive in the present moment but may not be giving good results in the long term and learning how to say yes to things that may not be attractive right now, but will give resu good results. And all this requires that the mind have a sense of well-being in the present moment, so that it doesn't just jump at anything, that it's more deliberate in how it makes its choices, more observant. And it's all for the good, because your thoughts play a huge role in shaping your experience to learn how to choose them well.